Merry Christmas! Today I'm going to be making another decoration to display in my home. It's called a book sculpture. This one is Artfold's brand, not sponsored. I've just made another one of them and I love them. This is going to spell out joy and it's the book Anne of Green Gables. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of that process. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments section. You really don't need any tools for this kind of thing. But my hands tend to get a little bit dry as I'm folding the pages, so I use this stuff called Quick Sort. It's a fingertip moistener, and it's like rather than licking your fingers to turn the page, it's really helpful for gripping the pages. And then to smooth the pages into a really crisp fold, I'm going to be using the cap of my seam ripper. You never know what you can find that'll be helpful. It's really best to do this on a flat surface like a table or a countertop, probably a table if you'd like to stay seated. So here is the book, and then the folds are marked out for you. So you fold the top down and make the edge parallel and almost covering but just touching this line here, and, and then you'll fold the bottom up to this line here. I'll show you that in just a second. I wanted to show you, in case you want to make your own without buying an Art Folds, even though it's a great brand. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but you can see the word joy printed out due to these lines here. So there, if you look really hard, you can probably see the word joy very, very faintly. And that is where these darker spots are. Some of the folds will go past the crease in the book, and that is when you fold it just like you normally would. And this one's not very close, but I'll just show you. So fold it just like you normally would, but then fold this piece that's causing an issue. Just fold it back so that it's out of the way. So far, this is where I am. Not very far, but it goes really quick. It's really fun too. Sometimes when you're folding, your pages will want to flip back over, so another useful tool is just a paper clip. So I take the pages and just clip it out of the way, and then that helps to weigh it down so that I'm not fussing with that, trying to get this fold nice and straight. I always find it really fun to check my progress as I go along. There's the beginning of the letter J, and then there's the top of it. So pretty much it's every other one if there's stuff at the top. Oops. You'll do a fold at the top and then the next page will be a fold at the bottom and then the top and then the bottom. So on and so forth. bit of a quick tip for you if you're using a paper clip also. Don't clip too many pages together because it could dent the pages and that just might not look very good. Mm -hmm. 